Hello friends, let's talk about Pearl and the most important things you should know about the map to start winning on it. First of all, stop planting here on the B site. I think the devs have kind of baited most players by placing this particular box that cannot be spammed so close to the entrance of the site. Crossing the open expanse of B is very dangerous and scary, which is why most people have resorted to planting here. And while this box might be relatively safe to plant behind because it's hard to wall bang, the problem is that your post plant is going to be awful. Attackers most likely have come from B long and will probably be trying to play post plant from B long as well. So not only will a diffuser be out of the line of sight of most of B long, but if you do have somebody lurking through middle to try and split the site, then you still can't even stop somebody diffusing the spike because you can't wall bang the box. The other option is for attackers to push all the way onto the site and take control of the whole of B site. But to do this in a coordinated and timely fashion and control three access points for the defense is a lot to ask from for your uncoordinated ranked teammates. The only other somewhat reliable option that I could think of is to use Sage in combination with the unspammable box that everybody likes to plant behind. And you can create a little bit of a pocket where you can plant the spike just on the edge of the site. And this will give you some sight lines down B long. Remember that you can actually turn right as you plant the spike and it will land slightly outside of the plant area. Even this is a little bit dangerous though without some post-plant lineups because the defenders could just tuck themselves back behind the corner while defusing the spike. This brings me to Viper, who I think is going to be a very important agent on attack on this map, especially if you want to use the B site at all. Without Viper's wall, there are just way too many angles to check as you enter the site, and you need to either push deep into defender territory or have multiple smoke agents to control all of the angles. Viper's wall functions kind of like it does on Icebox here, where you can just wall off a small part of the plant area and then plant in a relatively safe spot while falling back to play post plant from a longer range. Brimstone is really the only other solo smoke agent that can single-handedly cover enough of B to be somewhat useful, so I think we might actually see some double smoke comps coming out on this map. The next thing that you should know is that mid control is going to be wild and important, but you probably already knew that, didn't you? Considering that almost every game that I've played or watched is like a minimum of four or five people fighting for mid control immediately. However, once you have mid as an attacker, I don't think that you're supposed to push through middle as a team. The thing is pushing middle funnels the attackers into some super tight and cramped corridors that don't really make it any easier to actually get to site and plant the spike. If three or four players do make it into, let's say, B doors, then you still need to worry about three or four different angles on the way to the site that could have flankers coming from behind. While getting into the enemy spawn is nice, it's not really as valuable when the other team knows that your whole team is there. Instead, I think that if you just kind of control middle as an attacker, you can find some nice lurking kills and hear rotations, and then maybe have a single player backstab on the lurk as the rest of the team goes down A or B main. I kind of think about mid as like icebox mid. You don't really push mid that often on icebox, but you certainly do lurk through there and they can have a lot of value. On the defensive side of things, actually pushing out into middle seems a bit harder because not only are you coming out from a choke point, but you are exposed to potential crossfires from both of the attacker's spawns. What I do think teams will probably make more of the meta is that you'll use sentinel utility to either block off in the case of Sage, or at least keep an eye on mid and the mid choke points and then play a little bit more stacked towards the site with somebody maybe rotating through middle and playing off of the Sentinel's utility. One agent that I think does make taking mid a lot easier is Breach, who should be a huge part of the meta on Pearl. Breach gives both attack and defense the ability to quickly take critical parts of the map using stuns and flashes. And also considering that the mid seems pretty hard to push on attack, there's a good chance that lots of teams will start rushing A and B main as five. And the ability to stop a rush will be massively important because of how long and dangerous the rotations from one site to the other can be for the defense. Pairing Breach with an agent like Neon who can capitalize on setup utility should be a really effective way to use the agent well. Breach really thrives when his ability to clear out backside areas like A is useful or when he can hit multiple angles with a single stun or ultimate like on B site or in middle. Speaking of initiators, KO, Fade, and Sky seem very valuable on Pearl as well for their ability to clear and control a lot of the cramped pathways and blind corners that you encounter when moving around the middle of the map. 
I'd also like to include rays in this conversation because Boombot and paint shells are very valuable for clearing important corners and angles as well. There's so many flank paths on Pearl and areas to worry about, and it can seem very convoluted. So I think especially in ranked where your teammates will do random stuff and communication is not always there, being able to simply block off parts of the map like in middle or just using Sentinel Trap utility to lock it down should be a very valuable role to play. And honestly, just picking something like Sage simply walling off one side of middle playing the other should just give you and your teammates a huge sense of peace of mind that there aren't just attackers in your spawn flanking you all the time.